Any athlete's worst nightmare is an injury. Tendon injuries are one of the worst that you can have. Today we're looking at uh, signs that you have a tendon injury and how to treat one when you're just having and what are the normal body's responses to it. Tendinopathy or tendon injury can occur in any tendon in your body. Typically there are three places where that can happen, where a tendon meets the muscle, right in the middle of a tendon, and when the tendon goes into the bone. Tendons are tough fibers that connect muscle to the bone. Most tendon injuries occur near joints, like ankles, knees, elbows, wrists. Tendon injury can happen real suddenly or it can be from repetitive overloading. When we talk about tendons, you will hear a word like tendonitis. This actually means inflammation of a tendon, which is totally normal tendons response to healing. It's called reactive phase and it's a good healing process. Problems start to occur when your injury rate exceeds your healing rate. This is called tendon despair and it's a degenerative phase which will cause tendon cell death. This is characterized by collagen degeneration in the tendon due to the repetitive overloading. In this phase, your body will not get help from anti-inflammatory medicine. You will need to look for the help of medical professionals. Most tendon injuries are a result of gradual wear and tear from aging or overusing the tendon. Everyone who's doing the same movement over and over again in their daily lives, in sports, in uh, different activities, they can have tendon problems just by not giving it enough time to heal itself and then putting more stress to it. Your tendons are designed to withstand high repetitive loading, but when the load becomes too great for tendon to handle it, it can cause tendonitis and then goes into different phases. So when the load applied to the tendon is bigger than it's, it can withstand, it will get stressed. When tendons get stressed, they receive small micro tears which encourage inflammatory chemicals to be released in your body, which is normal response uh, to injury, and it can quickly go away if managed appropriately. What are the symptoms of tendinopathy? Tendinopathy usually causes pain, stiffness, and weakness in affected area. Pain will get worse when you use the tendon. You will get more pain in the nighttime, and you will be uh, stiff in the morning. The area may be red, tender, warm, and this is from the inflammation that's happening right there. You even might notice a crunchy sound when you're moving the tendon. The inability of tendon to adapt to the stress you're producing is causing it to go through different phases of injury. While it's normal for normal tissue adaptation during phase one, phase three and four can be very severe and serious. Phase one, reactive tendinopathy, which is normal tendon adaptation. Phase two, tendon despair, when your injury rate exceeds your healing rate. Phase three, the genetic tendinopathy. This is where the cell death occurs. Phase four, tendon rupture or tear. This is catastrophic tendon breakdown and it sometimes can be uh, healed just by medical surgery. How are tendon injuries diagnosed? Most likely you will go to physiotherapist. He will ask about daily activities, uh, sports which you're participating, where basically different kind of questions just to find out where you are. From that, he will make a plan about uh, how to go and to make yourself better. Sometimes the plan won't work. So this is when you need to have ultrasound or MRI to look at the tendon and more specifically diagnose at which phase it is. So maybe sometimes you will need medical intervention, sometimes exercises will help. When we talk about arm sling, tendon injuries occurring in every practice. So arm sling most forces goes to our tendons and tendons are breaking down. And there are a lot of guys that can do this, they can arm wrestle every day and have no pain. There are some guys that will have pain straight away from the first session. They need to take a rest. This is my advice for all the beginners. Please don't overdo it. You need to take at least uh, three to four days, maybe even more to have no pain. And then you can go on the table and arm wrestle. Because you, what you don't want to get is an injury when you're just starting the sport. Because we're, we are really breaking down ourselves when you arm wrestle on the table. When the load becomes too much, so let's think it from another direction. When we're training, we're breaking down our tendon. Then you give it enough time to heal itself. Your muscles, you can still work on your muscles, but you cannot apply tension to the tendon where you feel the pain. Tendon will get better, he will get stronger. That means you can arm yourself more and harder. Again, take a pause. So this will not work for everyone because there are, there are exceptions, but it works for most of the population. I hope this helped. Next video uh, about tendon, we're going to talk about tendon healing. 
So don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.